I'm Hadija from Hispi, Tanzania. My name is Zafarina Saujani. I'm from Mozambique. My name is John Lewis from um, Hispi, Vietnam. And my role is as a system analyst, but as well as a DHS2 implementer. I'm coordinating the East team, the Lusophone community, which is let's say East Mozambique, which is also called South Digitus. I'm a director now for His Vietnam, leading DHS2 implementation in Southeast Asia and Pacific Islands. I heard about DHS2 when I was in my university studies. I started engaging myself. Went around, asked about it, and at least they were cooperative enough, shared me the link to DHS2 Fundamentals, and I started to learn more about it. And I would say everything started from there. I think I, I started getting involved with the East group in two, 2003, into the master program, and then I went to Oslo in August, stayed there for one year, and then we came back to Mozambique. And then uh, I had one year of field work, and then start uh, writing the piece and then finalize it in 2005. 2000, when I was interviewed for as a software developer to join uh, his uh, India project in one of the small constituency in India. Uh, so I was appointed as a system developer for DHIS21. As the DHS2 team, we managed to support our Minister of Health in implementing the DHS2 countrywide, and it's the key system that is used by the Minister of Health in Tanzania in data collection and of course reporting. And of course, I think we have had a lot about COVID since 2020. So we came up with a, a portal that supports supports booking. So it's called Pima COVID, where you just have to go in. You book, secure a date for sample collection, then you get into the national lab, take the sample, and afterward you don't have to go back to the national lab, but of course you can be uh, sent your certificate right away uh, via the system. The DHI Summer Conference is an event where we there is a lot of share experience, sharing experience, and then a lot of users, implementers, donors, they attend, and then we get there, and then we share all our experience from the implementation side and also from the user perspective. Uh, when we started um, uh, Hispindia, I was the only person, and then like we uh, grew uh, to at the national level for the entire country, and we, I guess that that was the, the key event for me. You take a small NGO operating in a very small constituency in one particular village to move to the national entity and working with the Indian Ministry of Health. A lot, honestly speaking, because since I've started using it or since I've started knowing about it, it has proved to be a very, very flexible platform. It was initially aimed just for health information systems. We managed to extend beyond healthy. We're even using it in agriculture sector as well as water. So I would say it's, it's a very flexible platform. And it can support a number of use cases as we have had different uh, use cases from different countries. The ESP is a family. We have been supporting many countries. And then with, I get to know several people that are, they, they share the same challenges. For example, has here in Mozambique. And then we, go, we go and then we find that same challenges you find here, you will also find in in countries like Guinea-Bissau, Santome. So this is, it has been, to me, this is, it is, it is a community, it's a family. For me, it's an um, ideology, which basically uh, thinks about how best we can try to use um, information system uh, in the health settings and how best we can try to get the, um, the right tool to right people. And DHRS2, what we believe is a tool which helps the health administrators and people to make a decision at the local level and as well as the national level.